back to this morning's chaos right there on the Bay Bridge. You may have been stuck in it or had to make a last minute change to your commute. For a while, I was even wondering how I was going to get into work from the East Bay. Dozens of protesters calling for a ceasefire in Gaza parked their cars, got out on the bridge, blocking all westbound lanes of traffic. It was quite the scene just before 8 in the morning as they laid out banners across the span. So it took about four hours to clear, and the CHP ended up arresting 80 people and towed 15 cars, and there was quite the backup. The bridge just turned into a parking lot. Jose Martinez has more on the impact that went beyond just making people late to work. I'm here at the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza, where, as you can see, traffic is moving. A very different scene from this morning. Now, we know 80 people were arrested. We also know that CHP already confirmed that they all have been released at this point. But you can only imagine the headache that was for drivers out here. So it wasn't an easy day for drivers like Tony, who recently moved from Mississippi to Oakland and was on her way to work when she found herself caught in the chaos. I almost ran out of gas in traffic. Like, I'm late for work, literally, right now. I was just sitting here crying because I'm late for work again and stuck in traffic. Their demonstration began around 7.30 a.m., creating a nightmare for commuters, leading to significant delays and frustration. Man, I just called my job and, and made up an excuse to be late. This is my second time this week. But also delayed the transportation of organs into and out of the city, making transplants a riskier for patients awaiting critical procedures. At UCSF every year, we do about 800 organ transplants. So we rely on, on transportation to get organs into and out of UCSF every day, multiple organs per day. Garrett Roll, associate professor of transplant surgery at UCSF, says today's delays were problematic. I think the, the number of organs delayed is three. It's all because of timing. And when transportation shuts down, then organs which are already en route uh, suffer because they're, they're being preserved in between the donor and the recipient. And every 30 minutes or an hour of time that's extended of that preservation is damaging for the organs. So UCSF didn't say what type of organs or exactly where they were headed, but Dr. Roll says the patients waiting on them are expected to be okay. All right, in the meantime, here's my dash cam video. So I was heading into work around noon, was wondering what I'll find. So here I am, I pulled up, but there was no one at the toll plaza and it was smooth sailing into the city. I was really, I was ready to take BART, even go over the San Mateo Bridge if the closure continued. Um, I will never take these lanes for granted smooth sailing in and I'm glad they got it cleared away. I know it was quite chaotic for so many hours.